Welcome back to Planet Algo, where we discuss all things Algorand. It's been a great morning for us, but today we want to learn about something that has to do with the fees associated with cryptocurrencies. And I found a perfect way to illustrate how superior the Algorand network is compared to other networks when it comes to the efficiency to scale and to transact. Someone on Facebook was talking about Hogecoin. He actually made a really interesting article. He was talking about uh, the fact that most cryptocurrencies won't hit the mainstream for at least three more years or something like that. And that in the meanwhile, we should invest in meme coins. And so he pointed out this Hogecoin over here. It's a meme coin. And basically everything on this site says, hey, the only reason you want to use Hoge is to get rich. And this guy had said basically the same thing. Invest in Hoge to get rich and then take your money and put it into Algo a few years from now. Now, again, I'm not giving investment advice. I don't know anything about investing. But what I do know are the basics of what makes a network. And the idea is that with a cryptocurrency, you're supposed to be able to transact. So let's look at how we would get Hogecoin. This is the buy in Uniswap, okay? And it turns out that Hogecoin is actually, actually an Ethereum token. So I need to have some Ethereum. Now, I always do keep something called a MetaMask wallet, which is like a PayPal for the uh, Ethereum network. And it allows me to try out things like this. So if I wanted to get some of this Hogecoin, this Ethereum token, let's say I would get 0.1 ETH worth of it, which apparently rewards me with 630,000 of this token. Okay, now that's roughly, I think it's like $210. And I feel like I should have enough left over there. I have about 90 bucks left over, or $70 left over in Ethereum. So I should be able to do this transaction, no problem, right? So let's go ahead and let's do this. So here we go, here is the thing. So you can, we can see here is 0.1 Ethereum and all of a sudden it turns out to be $325, okay? Again, take a look at this, $325, but we just calculated it to be a roughly 200 and something. And so what's the problem here? The gas fee, the cost to transact on this network is $89.12, oh my God. Let's edit that. Let's make it slow. 70 bucks to be slow. Let's make it fast. $104. Can you believe this? Okay. This is the problem with the Ethereum network. Okay. On Algorand, we pay 0 0.001 algos, which is equivalent right now to one fifth of one cent to transact. On Ethereum, you're paying multiple levels of orders of magnitude higher. Okay. This isn't even close. And the author of that article for the Hoge, he mentioned this is because Ethereum is so congested. This is not true. This is because Ethereum is so poorly built that the fees are this high. They have been trying to fix this for years and they have not been able to and they're hoping it's gonna be with Ethereum 2.0, but I would not hold my breath waiting for that to happen. Not that Ethereum 2.0 won't come, but that will fix the fees. The Algorand network is a superior network. Okay, when we transact an Algorand, we will not be paying $90. Mind you, this has nothing to do with the how much I am sending here. Okay, if I was to choose a zero one right here and swap this and come over here, it's still gonna have an insanely high. Look at this. So for a $24 transaction, I'm paying an $82 fee. Could you imagine that in a store? How would this work for any application? Hey, sir, I want to buy a Coke off of you. Okay, the Coke is three bucks and you have to pay me $82 to complete the transaction. This does not make any sense. Okay, that's all I got for you today. If you like this, hit subscribe and like down below. Otherwise, have a great weekend. And next weekend, again, we're going to start some more tutorials on the Algorand Network.